Utah man has died after hurling himself into a bonfire at the Element 11 Arts Festival over the weekend, an apparent suicide. The festival was organized by a Salt Lake City Arts community. Hundreds of festival goers watched as event staff burned a three-story tall effigy of a character from the children's classic book, Where the Wild Things Are. Despite a security perimeter and firefighters present, the victim managed to evade them and ran directly into the flaming structure. It almost looked like he danced in the fire. He was moving so fast, nobody could catch him, which was huge and difficult for all of the perimeter that were there trying to intervene. Oh my god! Oh my god! It was one of the biggest fires we've had. It was really wonderful. It was, with all the wood that was there, it was just an amazing fire. Completely tall, no wind. Um, everyone was celebrating and we'd just pop champagne and as the crew in front of it and was getting really excited to to see it collapse and uh, and then everything started to change and everyone started to panic and run around and I didn't believe it was true I didn't think it had really happened but they said somebody had ran into the fire I'm like no that's not no no they just tried to run through and they made it it's okay nobody really ran into that fire it's it's not like that and uh my cousin Andy started to cry. My girlfriend started to cry. Everybody started to cry. That's when I realized it's true. Thankfully, I never saw, but there was hundreds that saw personally, and it affected us in a way that's unexplainable. As bizarre as it sounds, we sort of bonded since that point and created a stronger community. It was a beautiful thing to see. It's great to see everybody like come together rather than panic and get hysterical over it. Instead, we, we gathered and we hugged and we loved each other and we decided what to do from there. This is going to be by far the biggest project that anybody in Utah has brought to the playa. The proof of concept for the Temple of Awareness was built at Element 11, 2016 Stargazer Ranch. That proof of concept was, was a gift to our community as well as a gift to our build community as a lesson to, to build this giant structure. When Bobby first asked me whether I had any ideas of uh, what, how to make this, and uh, I thought about it, and I was like, how oh, is it got to be like 40 feet, you know? He's like, no, 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 80. 80 feet. You know, so often our temples are represented by squareness. But this is round. This is round in its entirety from where it lands on the earth, you know, all the way to the top because of the, of the catenary dome structure. What sets this temple apart from other temples that I have personally seen is that space. When you walk into it, that dome is going to just be this big, welcoming, awestruck thing that, uh, that hovers over your head. It's, it's gonna feel different inside. And there'll be sort of an energetic reflection in there, like a parabolic uh, kind of dish, or if you want to think of a satellite dish, that's, that'll, that'll, that'll enhance whatever energetics are created in there and, and reflect back on you know, uh, what's happening. The reason this temple's different than other Burning Man temples is that it is a very symbolic uh, place for us to land as a community and continue our you know, healing process and growth around what happened in 2014. A man jumped into our effigy and that has been really traumatizing to a lot of people and uh, to find the closure in, in building the temple for Burning Man. 
would mean a lot to a lot of people. We are more appreciative of people's silent struggles. We all know somebody who's committed suicide. And the young people are checking out left and right. And we've had four suicides in our community alone. We're really aware of it. We're hyper aware of it. And uh, want to do whatever we can to bring about healing. And having a peace that is so publicly present uh, is a great symbol to gather around. The conception is 100% from Alice's mind. I just gave her a little bit of a parameter and, you know, the, the boost that, you know, the confidence maybe that she might need that we can really do this, but it was, it was her idea. Um, and as she would say, I needed to get it out of my brain and onto the playa. It's a skep beehive shape, which is our uh, logo for Utah. We are the industrious bees. But it's also a pine cone, which is very relevant for Utah. We have so many pine forests and so many pine cones. And, and it's also a lotus flower, which reflects like the, uh, the opening, the beginning of a new chapter. We originally approached Burning Man and applied for the temple itself. Um, thankfully, they diverted us towards a smaller scale proof of concept, you know, mostly to test out the organization of our, of our building crew. So um, in, in this regard, it's been a huge success. We have an altar that will be placed in the middle of the temple. We have quite an elaborate array around us and then above with the chandelier. And we decided that the altar is a place where people can make offerings but doesn't need to draw a lot of attention. So it's a place where you can step into like a simplistic way of being, a sort of an inner space that's not complicated and not chaotic. We knew we needed to have an altar because there's so many people in our own community that wanted to leave something. And while everybody resonates so beautifully with the, the temple here at Burning Man, this one is specific to suicide prevention and awareness. Hopefully people will be able to open their hearts and their minds and their eyes to those around them, you know, the humans that are around them that may be struggling and be more receptive to stepping out of their comfort zone to, hey, how you doing, you know, how you feeling, you doing okay today? You know, sometimes those simple questions are all that we need to keep us from falling off the side of the planet. In our core, in our hearts, we're all very uh, together in creating something that we hope will uplift others. We are working to promote Temple of Awareness and Suicide Awareness at the same time through this project and we plan to go back and, uh, and do a walk in Utah. There's lots of um, awareness to suicide projects going on in Utah right now. We have the second highest suicide rate in the nation and uh, there's a big reason for us to do it besides just the, uh, the sparky incident and the suicides that's happened around us, but it's hard to see. And, uh, and so we, uh, we plan to bring more awareness. This, this isn't the end of, of us doing this, but... This has given us an opportunity to come back together, have a focal point, and move forward. For a lot of people, this has changed their lives. the things that's really come out of this is the whole, our whole Green Dot program and the Sanctuary program has beefed it up incredibly and, and a lot of that with support from the Burning Man Sanctuary and Green Dot heads. If we don't talk, it happens. So the willingness to be aware that this does happen and people might be struggling and if you see somebody struggling, check in.